So we're in the kitchen with gluten-free food blogger and cookery author Becky Excel, who came into Roast to Turkey. But Becky, you started by roasting me, <laughs> oh, <laughs> saying I look too. It worked. I've judged. Look at you now. You look beautiful. I've judged. Yeah, Thank you very much. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, you're it's making ridiculous. a Christmas lunch for us today. I am. I'm making a gluten-free <laughs> Christmas lunch. Perfect. So I mean. A Christmas lunch, on the whole, generally, a lot of it's naturally gluten-free anyway. So, you know, we've got the turkey, potatoes, all the veg and stuff. And you just need to be careful if you're buying stuff from the supermarkets, just check the ingredients and stuff, because it will always tell you whether things are safe or not. So, um, what are you actually cooking for us? Is the, is the Yorkshire puddings so, that we've got to worry about? Is it the... Yeah, so the things I'm going to be cooking, I decided to go for some things that people, if they're gluten-free, they wouldn't ordinarily be able to eat, but you can't miss out on things like this. Like, yeah. Yorkshire puddings, they're no. the best part, right? They're a must. I mean, some people don't have Yorkshire puddings with their Christmas dinner. <gasps> Never, but I'm going to. Oh, do you because not? they look amazing. No, they... Because some I, people I, just go, oh, only with beef. It's like, no, you have them with everything. So, um, so I'm going to be doing that, and then I've got a couple of other things as well. Just very quickly, what would be the red flags for someone who suffers from celiac disease when they go somewhere and they don't know that? Like, what would they be looking out for at Christmas time? Um, so I would say... Obviously, the stuff, like, in terms of ingredients, you know, stuffing, Yorkshire puddings, gravy, all those sort of things. But I think the most important thing at Christmas time isn't just the food itself, it's the cross-contamination. Right. So, because, think about it, you've got so many other people in the kitchen, all, everyone's getting really excited, grabbing mm. stuff. And for people with celiac disease, cross-contamination, absolute non-negotiable. You have right. to re be really, really careful. There's not just, oh, a little bit, a little bit won't mm. hurt. That, that's not okay. The tiniest, microscopic amount can make a difference in terms of short-term, long-term symptoms. Yeah, and, and a lot of so, food in a small space. Yes, but exactly. This looks bang on. Yeah. I mean, this just looks great. So, shall I get started with oh, these? Yes. We've got a few things to do. So, firstly, Yorkshire puddings, three ingredients. Um, first one, corn flour. Corn flour is like naturally gluten-free anyway, so it's nice and easy, nice and cheap. You can just, it's just the sort of thing you thicken gravy with, but they, they taste great. Um, and Honestly, you wouldn't. You don't. You don't need to have a separate one for a, the gluten-free people. Don't have to have a special sort of meal on the side, and everyone else has something else. Everyone can have the same. You know, like it's got a crunch to it. Mm. Yeah, like, I wouldn't exactly. even know that they weren't gluten-free. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. They they just they just work. And yeah. Like I I have pubs and stuff say to me, you know, we we make your Yorkshire pudding recipe. Um, and they make it for everyone. They don't make it for the gluten-free people specially. They make it for everyone, so everyone can... No one feels left out. Yeah. Because... So Nigella likes these. Nigella does like them. Nigella's been a big supporter. She's great with her love of gluten-free, oh, which is really it. nice. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, just mix this until it's nice and smooth. And then you just gradually add your milk in and you just mix it. Just keep... You do this gradually, but let's just do it quickly for now. And you've got a nice batter. And then that would look a bit like this. Simple batter. You don't need to let it rest or anything. You can just do it straight away. I'm all about quick, easy. I can't be bothered with anything. Nice. Like that. Yeah, that, that's the <laughs> yeah, way we need it. That's especially what we Christmas. need, Bex. Can we dip? Can we dip into our gravy? Is that right? You can totally you can judge us. You, I would not judge you for anything like that. Right. So I've got my my mixture here, <laughs> and basically you want to have this. You want to have this oil like absolutely spitting hot, like right. like re dangerously hot. You need to be really really careful. Um, and you just open the oven and then just pour it in. And I'm just going to pour one in here. Let's pour that in. Why does it have to be so hot, Becky? Because it it kind of just helps it to really puff up really, really quickly. Um, and it just makes... I mean, it just makes them big. It makes them huge. And what we want is yeah. big Yorkshire puddings. So that is turns into that after about 15, 20 minutes. And you'll just get some massive... Big babies. Nice. Big, mm. big, well, we want some big babies. Yeah. So I'm going to show you now a next thing. This is something you wouldn't ordinarily get right. gluten free bread sauce. So I don't know if you have bread sauce with oh, your. Yeah. yeah, I must. Because some people don't. Like my, my family are just like, I was telling them yesterday I'm doing this. And they're like, bread sauce? What? Mm. I, I love bread sauce. To you. So bread sauce. It doesn't taste of anything bread sauce. That's my no, problem with bread sauce. Yeah, but turkeys can be a bit dry. And the, the bread sauce kind of like okay. moistens it and makes it all just a bit. It has nice. a job. To yeah, do. it does. A, yeah. It has a job. So I've infused my milk um, with these things. So I've got some butter, some peppercorns, some bay leaves, and some leek, um, softened leek. I've strained it. And then all we're going to do, really, really simple, is just add in some gluten free breadcrumbs. So these are just supermarket breadcrumbs from the free from aisle. Um, yeah, gluten-free bread, really expensive. But you can normally pick them up in that aisle, can't In that you? aisle, you can pick up loads of stuff, but there's loads of stuff around the supermarket as well that is accidentally kind of gluten-free as well. Right, you just have okay. to learn how to read labels and packaging and stuff. What do you mean, accidentally gluten-free? So, the, the free from aisle is notorious for being expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so, 
gluten-free bread, you find in the free-from-all, it's about four pounds. That, that sort of stuff you have to find in the free-from-all. But there's other stuff around the supermarket. Think about it. Bananas aren't in the free-from-all, yet bananas are gluten-free. But you have to really understand packaging because it yeah. may contain glutens, there's all this stuff. So you need to learn how to read that. And, you know, I'm an ambassador for Celiac UK. Um, and on their website, they have loads of information. They have like a barcode checker, so you can go around the supermarket and check what's safe and stuff like that, which is really, really useful. That's smart. Yeah. Good. So you just, just gravy stir that in. Yeah. I'm just adding a bit of cream. Oh. Oh. Right. Nice. And just a bit of, bit of spices, nutmeg, cloves, a bit of salt. Mix it all together and just leave it. And voila, what we get is some nice bread sauce. Nutmeg and cloves. Yeah. I mean, I've never very, very nice. Bread sauce. Yeah, so crack on with this stuffing. Great part of Christmas Christmas lunch, and that's something that isn't necessarily gluten free as well. It's good. Your bread sauce tastes the stuff. I like it. Yeah, yeah that's what really you need. Good. So here I've got some pork mince. I've got some um, leeks that have been softened, and then I add into mine a few little things like apple sauce. It's got some apple sauce there. We've got some orange zest. Ooh. Just put some salt and pepper in as well, um, and then my little. Thing, which this is this is me being inspired by Nigella because she's she talks about me, so I'm inspired by her. I like. We really love each other, don't you? We're not even met. <laughs> we I want to. Let's make this happen. <laughs> um, but so this is gluten-free gingerbread. I've got it in the book. So my whole book is just called Gluten-Free Christmas. It's got so many mm. gluten-free recipes in it. Um, I, I love the colours in the book, though. So yeah, lovely. really, really it's lovely. Just, it's just fun. Okay. So just crumble that in. You mix it all up. And then you can use that straight, stuff it into the turkey, make it in stuffing balls, or what I've done is made it into a log. So you just sort of wrap it up like this and then wrap that up like that. You want to take that out. And then basically you get that. I'm going in. Love yeah, I'm going go in, Becky. It. I'm going in. There we but go. Yeah, I, I've just Delicious. Gluten-free people shouldn't oh. miss out because no. being gluten-free is not a choice. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And we, we all deserve to have the same as everyone else and feel mm. the same and not be made to feel like a problem. The orange so, is delicious. Is it? Yeah, really good. I'm, yeah, I'm glad. I, I hope I've shown you that gluten-free can be really, really nice. The you, revelation. You would, you would never know, would you? No, I would no. never actually exactly. know if it, it wasn't gluten-free at all. Yeah, you've done really well and, and, and well done on the book. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, lovely colour as well. Oh, thanks. And all these recipes are on the website and on the app, aren't they? Oh, thank you. And I hey. hope you get to meet Nigella. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Christmas. <laughs>